You know, sometimes as a doctor, we hear things from patients that make us pause. Just the other day, right here in this clinic, one of my patients sat down with me and said, Doc, my eye doctor told me I have cataracts, but don't worry. They said it's not from my diabetes. It's just normal aging. Now, I love my ophthalmology colleagues. That's why I refer all my patients with diabetes to them. But that statement, well, let's just say I respectfully disagree. Yes, cataracts do become more common as we age. That part is true. But the idea that diabetes has no role, that's like saying fire has nothing to do with smoke. So today, we're going to break this all way down. What exactly is a cataract? Why do they form? And most importantly, how does diabetes pour gasoline on that fire and accelerate cataract formation? By the end of this video, you'll understand exactly how your blood sugar may be clouding more than just your A1C. It may literally be clouding your vision. And stick around because this might help you or someone you love save their eyesight. And do me a favor. Comment below where you're watching from and if you or someone you love has dealt with cataracts. Let's start with the basics. Inside your eye, you have this little clear structure called the lens. Think of it like the lens of a camera. It bends light so you can focus images onto your retina. Now, over time, that lens can start to get cloudy. And when it does, we call that cloudiness a cataract. The symptoms may include things like blurry vision, sensitivity to lightest especially glare at night, colors that start to fade, needing more light to read, and one many people don't realize, double vision in one eye. If left untreated, cataracts can eventually lead to significant vision loss. In fact, cataracts are the leading cause of blindness worldwide. But the good news is they're treatable because cataract surgery is one of the most common and successful surgeries in the world. But here's the real question we need to answer today. Why do cataracts cataracts form in the first place. Let's talk about it. So yes, cataracts can happen as part of aging, just like gray hair, wrinkled skin, or stiff joints. The lens ages too. As we get older, the proteins inside the lens start to break down and clump together. That clumping scatters light, making the lens cloudy. But, and that's a big but, there are certain things that accelerate this process. Things that essentially make your lens age faster than your birth certificate says it should. Here are some of those accelerators. Diabetes. We'll come back to this one, so buckle up. Smoking. Excess UV light exposure. Long-term steroid use. Your genetics. Certain medications. So when your eye doctor says it's just aging, they're only telling part of the story. For many people, especially those with diabetes, this process is happening earlier, faster, and more aggressively than in people without diabetes. And that brings us to the real star of today's show. How exactly does diabetes contribute to cataracts? All right, let's get a little nerdy for a moment. After all, I am a doctor. You know I love mechanisms because once you understand the why, it changes how you approach your health. So here we go. Four major pathways where diabetes wrecks havoc on your lens. Number one, the sorbitol pathway, osmotic stress in action. When your blood sugar is high, not all that extra glucose stays floating in your bloodstream. Some of it enters cells that don't even have insulin receptors like the cells inside your lens. Once inside the lens, glucose is converted to a sugar alcohol called sorbitol by an enzyme called aldose reductase. Now here's the problem. Sorbitol doesn't easily leave the lens. It builds up. And because it's osmotically active, meaning it attracts water, the lens swells. Swelling disrupts the delicate arrangement of proteins inside the lens leading to clouding and structural damage. Essentially, your lens is slowly drowning in sugar water. This sorbitol buildup is one of the reasons why people with diabetes are prone not only to cataracts, but also to diabetic retinopathy and even nerve damage. Number two, glycation of lens proteins, the AGE problem. Let's talk about glycation, a word you've heard me use a lot if you follow my channel. High blood sugar causes proteins to become glycated, meaning sugars stick to proteins in a non-enzymatic way. 
these sticky proteins clump together and form what we call advanced glycation end products, or AGEs. Inside the lens, this glycation stiffens and damages the normally flexible proteins that allow the lens to focus. Over time, the lens becomes stiff. It loses clarity. And AGEs also contribute to the yellowing or browning of the lens that sometimes you can see in advanced cataracts. If you've ever seen someone with a slightly yellowish hue to their eyes, that may be due to AGE accumulation. Number three, oxidative stress, which is a free radical firestorm. Chronically high blood sugar also ramps up oxidative stress. Every time glucose enters energy pathways like the mitochondria, reactive oxygen species abbreviated ROS are generated. And when ROS overwhelm the lens natural antioxidant defenses, like glutathione and superoxide dismutase, cellular damage follows. The result? Damaged proteins, cloudy lens fibers, progressive vision loss, because oxidative stress is like rust inside your eyeball. Number four, inflammation and insulin resistance, the slow burn. What would a Dr. Hampton video be without mentioning inflammation or insulin resistance, right? Because systemic inflammation from insulin resistance, metabolic syndrome, and diabetes spills over into all tissues, including the eye. Inflammation damages the lens proteins, impairs circulation to the eye, and contributes to cataract formation. And the longer the duration of diabetes, the greater the risk. Now let's get back to my patient's ophthalmologist for a second. They said it was just normal aging, but here's the reality. Studies show that a person with diabetes can develop cataract 15 to 20 years earlier than a person without it. And they are up to five times more likely to develop cataracts. They also tend to develop a specific type of cataract called posterior subcapsular cataract, which is particularly linked to metabolic dysfunction. So yes, aging plays a role, but diabetes accelerates all the same pathways that aging does. It's like pouring gasoline on smoldering embers. You shouldn't normalize preventable damage just because it happens commonly. Here's where the good news comes in. Metabolic health is eye health. If you can improve your metabolic health, you dramatically slow or even halt these processes. Here's my recommended protocol. Number one, control your blood sugar. The lower your average glucose, the less glycation, sorbitol buildup, and oxidative stress. I often target A1C levels in the 5 to 5.5 range when safely possible. Number two, adopt a metabolically friendly diet low-carb, ketogenic, or even carnivore approaches can dramatically lower insulin and glucose levels. Reducing processed foods, sugar, and refined carbs is a non-negotiable. Number three, protect against UV damage. Wear proper sunglasses outdoors because UV exposure accelerates oxidative damage inside the eye. Number four, quit smoking. Smoking directly worsens oxidative stress and cataract risk. Number five, limit steroid use. Long-term steroid medications increase cataract risk, so use only when medically necessary. Number six, consider nutritional support. Some nutrients may support lens health. Carnosine was shown in some studies to reduce glycation in the lens. Alpha lipoic acid is a powerful antioxidant. Vitamin C supports glutathione recycling. Glutathione precursors like NAC, omega-3 fatty acids because of their anti-inflammatory benefits. But of course, talk with your healthcare provider before starting any new supplements. So let's wrap this up. Cataracts aren't just about age. For many, they're about accelerated aging driven by metabolic dysfunction. So if you have diabetes or even prediabetes, your lens is under attack but you don't have to be passive. By taking control of your metabolic health today, you're protecting not only your eyes, but your entire future. And if you've made it to the end of the video and you found this video helpful, give it a like. Subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to check out the playlist in the description below. And as always, let's all walk towards metabolic health. And if you wanna learn more about eye health from a doctor who is an ophthalmologist, check out the video on the screen. I'm sure you won't be disappointed if you do. And of course, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.